Hey, Prepper Nation, this is Dr. Bones, that old country doctor with a new purpose in life, and that is to get you prepared. Together with the lovely Nurse Amy, we host a weekly podcast called the Doom and Bloom Show. Check out www.doomandbloom.net for articles on medical preparedness, survival gardening, natural remedies, all sorts of news you can use. Now today, we're going to take leaves from plants in the agave family and see if we can turn them into sewing thread to mend your clothes or maybe even your body. The plants of the agave family have sharp woody ends that serve as protection for the plant. The Native Americans were experts at converting things in a natural environment into practical items and they figured out a way to sew with material from the agave leaf. Many plants in this family have medicinal uses as well. The uh, aloe vera leaf, if you cut off a piece, will be very useful for medical purposes. Here, we've cut it, and you see that it, it exudes a, a gel, and this gel is soothing and useful for healing purposes on burns and other conditions. Use it as a balm on skin areas that are inflamed, and it will speed healing. Okay, now let's take our agave leaf and see if we can actually turn it into workable needle and thread. Well, here, what you see that I've already done is I begin to cut off strips of it because I'm going to want to take the material that is attached to the actual needle and make it thin enough so that it can be used as thread. Now, it's going to be hard, of course, to get it to be as thin as silk thread, for example, but it still will be useful and functional as sewing material. Now, of course, this is not thin enough, so we're going to work on getting it a little bit thinner. And so this takes a little while sometimes. We'd like to get it thinner than it is too, and so we try to we try to cut it lengthwise here. Okay, here we go. All right, we're getting there. You see that it's still attached to the needle, and this material, uh, the leafy material, is actually pretty tight. Now here you can also just take the needle and make a, a sewing needle that you can put regular thread on. Put a little hole in the base. Here we go. And you have your needle and thread. And let's see if this needle actually works to put together some cloth. Well, here I'm, here I'm uh, still trying to get this thin. Oh, okay, now I finally got it thinner. And that, this is thin enough, I think, to use. And it's, it's pretty solid. You'll see how, how tough it is. And it's really hard to pull it apart. Now, these things won't last forever, but they'll be useful for the purposes that you're going to need them for, and that's to at least temporarily sew material together. Here we're going to use the actual needle that I put on some silk thread with, and we're going to see if we can push it through some cloth. And sure enough, there you go. And let's see if it retains its sharpness. Okay, not too bad. Awesome. All right, so we pull that through and we tie the knot. Let, and of course, this is silk thread, so we know that our knot is going to be solid. There you go. Okay, let's remove this. The good thing about the agave plant is that it has probably about 20 or 30 leaves, and so there's usually quite a lot of of needles available for you to turn into thread. Now here we're actually going to use the needle with the agave leaf material still on it. Let's see if that will go through. Okay, bingo. Okay, it seems to hold well so far. Let's put it through again and then the big test will be if it can handle a knot. 
And let's see if we can put a knot in this thing. Okay, and now let's see if this knot will hold. There we go. Good. Pull it, pull it taut. Really try to break it. Can't do it. And there you see that we have an excellent knot made out of completely natural materials from a plant in the agave family. So this is Dr. Bones. We hope that you have found this interesting and found this useful. This is the Doom and Bloom Show. Check us out at www.doomandbloom.net. Thanks again.